Hi, I'm Rick Stroud with the St. Petersburg Times along with Stephen Holder here at One Buck Place. Let's talk about this matchup on Sunday, a big game against another 7-3 team at Baltimore and the Ravens and awfully good defense up there waiting for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Stephen, you know, we've talked to Raheem Morris countless times about his team and I think most people would be surprised that they have seven wins. But they have not beaten a team with a winning record. We've seen them lose to Pittsburgh, lose to the Saints, and lose a very close game to the Atlanta Falcons. Here comes another team that does have a winning record. Do they need to win this game just to just to validate who they are in this race? Well, they don't really have to validate anything necessarily, but I do think from a confidence standpoint, if you get this win, it changes everything for this team. They are playing with a lot of confidence. There's no question about it. But I think when you lose all the games you've played against winning teams, there's no question you're going to have some doubts within, whether you admit those or not. Uh, and I think, yes, this is an opportunity for this team to really establish itself and, and set a tone maybe for the rest of the season. And I think, you know, we go back, we've talked, you know, ad nauseum about that win at New Orleans last year, but that was that sort of win that let this team know it could do anything. And, and you come out of a win like that thinking that uh, you're capable of doing just about anything in the world. So I think that for this young team, this win from a confidence standpoint would be huge. It would be beyond words. And I think that's what they're searching for right now. Of course, Raheem Morris, he sticks to his philosophy. Look, there's only one signature mm -hmm. win and uh, it's going to be the Super Bowl in Dallas this year. Now, he's right to a great extent, and you can win uh, plenty of games in this league by beating the teams that you are superior to. Right. But, uh, but I think when you get, if this is going to be a playoff team, you're going to have some tough matchups, and you're going to have some games where you're going to have to beat. They're all going to be winning records come postseason That's for right. the most part. So uh, they're going to have to show that they can do this, and I think this is an opportunity uh, to pass that test, if you will. Now, on the field, one of the things I think we'll be looking at is, you know, the, the Ravens are renowned for causing turnovers, right. and at, by the same token, uh, Josh Freeman has protected the ball wonderfully this year. What do you think uh, transpires in that battle? Well, I think that's been the difference of the Bucks season, is that, you know, last year, Josh Freeman, he turned it over, uh, you know, I think 6% uh, of his passes were intercepted. He had 18 picks last year, only five interceptions this year, down around 1.2%. And when you go on the road especially, not turning the ball over is a success to victory. When they've won the turnover battle this year, they're 7-0. Yeah. When they've scored off other people's turnovers, conversely, when they haven't, that's when they've lost those three games. Yeah. And so we know the Baltimore Ravens, and we know about Ray Lewis, who can cause a lot of fumbles, and we know about Ed Reed. And to me, Ed Reed is the key. This guy is a ball hawk. He's back. He seems that hip injury seems to be behind him. He's taking balls to the house now again. And so, you know, Josh Freeman has to do a real good job of trying to hold Ed Reed and not let him read his eyes because he absolutely will jump some passes. And so look for that to be the key for the Bucks on offense. I think the difference is you have LeGarrette Blunt. You can run the ball. you got some run action. You can influence some of those safeties. Maybe they can take advantage of that. But check back with us next week as the uh, Bucks travel to Baltimore and see if they can bring home their eighth victory and head to a big showdown with the Atlanta Falcons on December 1st.